welcome to my workshop. Um, it's coming up to November now and uh, well traditionally for us the nights get longer and they have bonfire night but there is another um, sort of, uh, festival that happens in November in the middle of November and that's Diwali which is the festival of light it's a Hindu festival um, from India and I thought I'd make something to do with that um, festival and one of the traditions of the uh, festival is to make um, small boats and float lights down the river to kind of like see what could your fortune will be in the forthcoming year. So I'm going to build a boat like this. This is made from an egg box, card, toilet rolls and two night lights and this will float down the river. It's made of cardboard. You know, one of the obvious things to make a little boat would be to use a plastic tub, but they're not biodegradable, so I decided to make one out of cardboard, which will eventually sink and decompose. The only bits that might be left are the metal containers for the night lights and the foil that's holding them in the toilet roll container. There are two parts to the, uh, the the construction of the boat. There's an egg box inside which provides the structure that keeps everything together and then there's an outer hull made of card. You can see here it's got a bow of dragon head bow, a bit like a viking ship and a dragon tail. It could be all sorts of different things. It could be a bird, bird's head, a swan's head and feathers coming out the back. To hold the night lights I've got two toilet rolls to keep them up in the air so you can see them and away from the rest of the structure. I mean it is tempting to build things inside but too close to the, the flames. And this can be floatable. I've already tested it and it does float. So the idea is that you would go down to the river, go with the river arrow, and you would float or even one of the lakes. So there's a large pool pond, there's a lake at Matchborough um, shop in Matchborough, there's um, well there's the big lake as I used to call it, the Arrow Valley Lake and you would light these and then you'd watch this sail off into the distance at night and if it went out of sight and the lights was, the flames were still going, the light was still there, that was good fortune. If your boat sinks obviously that's not such good fortune Okay, well, I'm going to show you how to construct this. So, if you come down to the uh, work table, I'll be able to show you the next steps. Right then, to make the uh, Diwali light boat, we're going to be using an egg carton box. This is one I got from the market. I get from the market. It's got no company labels on it, so it's a nice bland shape to work with. We're going to use some toilet rolls. There are different sizes of toilet rolls, doesn't matter which one we use. If you're using a small one, we can fix the tea light by taping it. And with the bigger one, we're going to use some foil to hold the tea light. We'll be making a boat shape around the egg box using some A4 card. You can get coloured card, you can get plain white card. We're going to be using the white card. We're going to be fixing it using gaffer tape and a glue stick and we'll be using pegs or paper clips to hold them together while the glue sets. We're going to be using scissors for cutting, pencil for marking out and some felt pens for decoration. We may use a craft knife, that's why I've got the cutting mat here, but that's only if there are any tricky bits. The first step is to separate the lid from the egg carton. So cut across there because that is going to fit inside like that. And this is going to form the structure on which we're going to build the boat. You may notice there's a hole there, so the first step is to get a piece of gaffer tape and seal up that hole because we don't want any premature sinking. There we go. So that's the 
first step. The next step is to make the outer hole shape. Um, we're going to be using white card for that. This is A4 card. I'm going to mark it halfway lengthwise just by folding it so we've got two little crimps. And we'll get the ruler. Straight line. sort of curve shape for the boat. So you may want to mark that with a pencil first just so that you know where you're going. And we have a parallel line going along it here. Following the same curve. two halves, the same. The next step is to make a bow piece and a stern piece. So you're going to, I think, use white card, so I'm going to use a swan idea. So there's the card there. So we're going to fit the swan head here. It's going to start there and come back. There's the body there. Cut this out. I'm going to cut out the basic shape first. Stern part. We use the header's guide. So we can put some feathers in. feathers.
And then we've got the head and tail, which is the bow and the stern. And we've got the two sides of the boat. This is going to stick on here, and this will stick on here. I'm going to glue no more than the finger's width because we're going to have to bend it open. That's a bit of glue there. top so there's a little strip of glue so the next step is line this up there we go and press it very hard good rub in to make sure that the glue sticks glue sticks have got a high tack which means that they hold quite well, they're not necessarily very strong. And so while that's set in, we can just clip before we do that and do some decoration. So I'm just gonna do a very simple orange beak. It look like a goose. Just temporarily clip this with some clothes pegs. Because we're going to need to open this out. It's going to be tricky because it's with the weight of the clip, clothes pegs is floppy. Okay. And we're going to be wrapping that around the yeah, cotton. So you can see where it fits. Okay, that should be enough with the uh, clips, clear things. And that's there. Just going to give it a little bit of a bend down. Just going to use paper clips because they're not quite as clumsy as the paper as the clothes pegs. So that fits round fine. When we fit it we need to line it up so that the centre line of the egg box goes from the centre line of the stern and the back. So yeah, so you know that's going to fit. Next step is to tape it on. So we've got some gaffer tape. tape sticking out the edges there and there. Let's get this over. Make sure it's lined up along the length there. And pinch it. Line it up there. Tape on. 
that a minute. That bit's good. And again on this side. Slide it down. Tape it firmly down. And you've got your basic boat shape. So that's good. step is to fit the toilet rolls over the uh, base. This structure here is very useful. It's given us some, some tongues to slot over. To do that we need to cut out some triangles. Opposite sides. So you can see that there, and now we'll fit over the area there. That's, that's quite secure on its own, but if you wanted to make it more secure, we can put on some a couple of bits of tape. So tape on there. Tape on that. Hold it back. secure. Next step is to fit the T-line, but you see it's too small. This is where some foil comes in, some foil new baking foil. And we're going to cut a square off, I'll whip the square off. There. This first is advantage of giving a bit of protection to the uh, cardboard tube from the T-line. Pushing it down so that it's going to be as deep as the tea light. So when the tea light goes in, it's flush with the top. Crimping it round. Make sure there's some excess bits. So there's a little bit of movement in there, so I'm going to peel off a strip, crinkle it up, and just feed that around the side of the T-line. There, and then a little bit go around the other side. Scrunch the and that just stops the tea light moving so much. Mm -hmm. And you can do the same to get a second one. Put in at the same point. There. You can see there we've got our boat shape and two prominent lights. Now we've got tea lights, the candles because the idea is that this would sail away in the river. If you were just using the bath, you can get little battery versions of tea lights. So you could use that. Next step is I'll take off the paper clips. So it should be, it should be firm by now. And let's test it in some water. So 
tub of water here, just for a test run. So you can see our boat shape here. And then there it is floating in the water. So And then I'm not going to attempt to light the uh, tea lights inside the workshop. I might, I'll wait until it goes outside. Maybe we can test it in the river or a lake. Although the idea of the Diwali light boat was that it would float away into the wider world, we don't really want that to happen because living in such a small country with lots of people, we don't want to litter the environment. So I was able to recover the light boat that I test floated in Lodge Pool. And if you were looking very carefully at the film, you would have seen that I had a thread, a cotton thread. Again, that's because it's better for the environment, pure cotton. I was able to pull the boat along. That was done for two reasons. One, so that we could film it more accurately and get a better shot. And the other was so we could recover it. Because we don't want this lying around in the, at the side of the lake. Because you may have heard lots of bird noises when we were filming. That's because there was lots of wildlife there and we don't want their, this to interfere with their behaviours. If you've made this boat, you need to have an adult with you to light those candles because obviously if you've made a cardboard it's quite flammable so you need to be careful. If you did float it in the bath, again, I know some people use tea lights in the house but I would be very careful about that and I would try and find one of the battery powered versions to go in there just to see just to see how it goes okay and uh, I hope you enjoy your light boat from the box